friends thank you for joining in we're talking about the power of the word words of our mouth um and uh, today i want to talk about declaring our faith and speaking what god speaks uh let's look at romans chapter 4 verse 17 uh, it says as it is written i have made you a father of many nations the presence of him whom he believed god who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did talking about abraham you know we are told that god spoke something completely different about abraham um as compared to his normal situation or his natural circumstance now we know that abraham was old in years and so was his wife and god gave them a promise that they would have um their own son of promise who would be um the first of you know the the many descendants and that they would have a, the blessing of descendants that they will fill the earth now looking at abraham you know in romans chapter 4 we um see that he waited for 25 years for the fulfillment of this word that he would have a son of promise so uh abraham was really standing up against the odds he was old his wife was old and nothing in the natural looked like there there is a possibility of them having a child so in those circumstances we see that god you know gave a promise which was contrary to the natural we are told god who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did meaning god is a god who can speak the impossible and it will come to pass so god is somebody who carries that kind of a capacity who can speak life in the place of dead and god can even speak and bring life to the non existent things so as we look at the way god um ministers in a dead situation what we learn is to do the same so in abraham's dead situation we are told that he learned to speak like god he learned to um and later on in the following verses we will see that abraham gave thanks to god nothing was happening and yet you know he gave thanks to god for the fulfillment of god's promise so he began to speak the impossible he began to speak life in the place of deadness and he called those things that did not exist as though they did and it began to manifest in his life now we are not encouraging people to uh, just you know speak and uh, see the manifestation or name and claim nothing like that but the word of god is truth and as long as we are speaking the truth of god's word you know we we are on the right track we are not trying to make things up but if god has spoken you know, that is truth and that will come to pass so we are just you know um aligning ourselves to what god has spoken and we can be confident that even the impossible will turn into possible as we speak life so i just want to encourage us maybe we find ourselves in um uh, dead situations at the end of the rope um in hopelessness but begin to speak life begin to speak hope begin to speak um uh, what god would say in that situation and you will see things turning around let's pray together father god we thank you for the hope that we have in you Lord um we know that Lord um what is real is is in the spiritual realm oh God and father um uh, thank you that the impossibilities in the natural realm can turn around as we speak words of faith Lord as we speak um your words and your heart over situations and thank you Lord even today that you're turning situations around father we want to give you thanks and praise for it in Jesus name we pray amen Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.